Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm in the Crown Vic and we will be going over the reason this Crown Victoria doesn't have the spotlight or a spot for the spotlight. So let's get to it. Welcome back to the channel. So this is a uh, 2005 Ford Crown Victoria. We're gonna go ahead and take a walk around to the other side where the spotlight would um, be if it had one. And I had a uh, few people ask about that. Um, so I decided we'll do a video on it. And no, it's not a fake uh, interceptor. But as we see, most police cars most interceptors have the um, spotlight and this one does not and it doesn't have the hole for the spotlight now if you're like me so as you see there's no holes in the door in the frame now if you're like me you pretty much don't even need a spotlight and um like on my last one it had the spotlight removed, but it left the hole. So I'm actually thankful that this one doesn't have the hole right there. Uh, Cause most of the time you're not gonna use the spotlight. Um, there are a few people who use it, you know, just for fun, but 90% um, of the time, 99% of the time it won't get used. So, but this one doesn't have it because this is a um, ex fire chief car. And I guess they didn't need one on here. But it is my first time seeing the interceptor without the spotlight hole right there just in general because usually they'll take them off but you know, that's something new maybe they order it with the door let's see yeah the car had to be ordered i guess it was ordered special to make sure they didn't have the hole in the door or in the pillar right here or in the you know cover and stuff because usually you have a hole going right through there but it did come with all your other features, um, your, you know, your rubber flooring and I guess your dash. Uh, now it didn't come with the cruise control. That's something that you know would be helpful. And you know, it came with your little standard radio, things like that. And I will, like I said, I'll be doing a full review of the car. Haven't got around to it just yet, so make sure you stay tuned and subscribe for that. And I still have to do something with all this wiring. This one looks like it. I don't say it looks. It look. I thought it was exposed, but it's not. It's just like clear. It's like a clear. Yeah. So all these wires. I'm not even sure if they even half of them even work. They should be unplugged. Most of them. This is a serious cord here. This one is. Yeah. Plug or something. Then this here, I ran my, myself, 12 volt power supply. Well, other than that, thank you for watching. Um, don't forget, like I said, to hit that subscribe button. Make sure you leave some comments down in the comment section below. Let me know what you guys want to see, what else you want to see on the car or any videos you want to do with the car. I am going to do um, some type of competition with the car. Just waiting to get in touch with a friend so we can have that set up. So that's going to be pretty cool for the channel. Other than that, I will catch you on the next video.